Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your ticker guy coming at you from wonderful Niceville, Florida. I want you to watch this short video clip of Dr. Bernanke, Chairman of the Federal Reserve, talking about monetizing debt. I've seen one analysis that clearly to keep the debt at, at today's level 41% of GDP, that either number one, with, you're going to have to monetize the debt and essentially inflate the money supply 100%, or that tax increases across the board in the neighborhood of 60 percent would be necessary to balance the budget in 10 years. Uh, has the Federal Reserve uh, done its own calculations? Does this seem to be an accurate uh, analysis? We haven't done that particular analysis. I don't think it's realistic to get back to 41 percent uh, that quickly. Um, Which means perhaps some level of tax increase, spending decrease, or inflating the money supply is going to be necessary. Relative to that CBO baseline, I mean, it's evident that either uh, cuts in spending, increases in taxes will be necessary to stabilize the fiscal position. Will the Federal, Federal Reserve, Reserve monetize this debt? The Federal Reserve will not monetize the debt. Okay, I think that's pretty clear. Bernanke says he will not monetize the federal debt. Well, you've got a little problem here. You see, monetizing the debt would be taking currently issued treasuries to fund our profligate deficit spending, printing up new reserves, that is, printing money and buying them with it. Here is the seven-year bond auction that was issued last week on the 30th. It has a unique identifier at CUSIP. Much like every share of McDonald's stock has a unique identifier, it's MCD on the stock exchange. Well, today, the Federal Reserve executed one of their Treasury buybacks. And lo and behold, what showed up there but the seven-year Treasuries that were issued just last week. How was that purchase funded? Which, by the way, was about half of what the primary dealers had bought at that auction? With printed money. I don't know how long it's going to be before our Congress decides that those who come in front of it make statements and then turn around and do exactly the opposite, will be held to account for what appears to this market commentator to be a clear evidence of perjury. I also don't know how long the foreign and domestic buyers of our debt, which we must have in order to continue to fund our government's operations, are going to put up with what is obvious false statements. And finally, I don't know how long people are going to have confidence in our dollar. When the chairman of our Federal Reserve goes in front of Congress and says that he will not monetize the debt of the United States, and then just a short time later, buys a very significant part of debt that was issued to fund our deficit spending less than a week prior. This sort of nonsense, ladies and gentlemen, must stop. We the people must demand that our representatives enforce the statements that the people who are appointed to deal with our monetary and fiscal policy make and that they are held to account when they come before our congressional representatives make statements that later turn out to be absolute nonsense. I'm your ticker guy and that's my opinion.